So first off, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm making making a painting using the recommended dose of fruits and vegetables every day. Five vegetables and two fruits. So as you saw in the thumbnail, all the fruits and veggies I'm using. Sadly enough, they kind of went funny. So I put them in the blender. This one is strawberry. This is blended strawberry with a bit of corn flour to thicken it up. Nice and gross. It was actually really fun to blend. But yes, very gross. This is blended blueberries. So a bit of, I was aiming for blue, but it went purple with some corn flour also to make it thick. This one was mushroom actually, nice brown. Was meant to be, um, was meant to be white. I was trying to aim for white, but brown works too because it's very pigmented. Uh, this one, as you probably already guess, is beetroot. This one's not a thick one, it's more of a light, like maybe a wash. It's very chunky, but very light. And which comes to the next one. The next one is carrot, but the beetroot leaked into the carrot somehow when I had it in the fridge. So now the carrots born a very pinky color. So that'll be interesting. Because the beetroot, as you can probably, I don't know if you can see, it's like it's leaked all along the side here. So I'm surprised it didn't get into the mushroom. I mean, there's bits in there. It's gone all over the lid. Beetroot, very good stain, staining thing. And we've got spinach for the green, nice and thick and gross. Nice and green. And then we have corn for this yellowy white substance. Now, yesterday, me and my friend, we plutched them on some, a bit of canvas. I mean, this is this was a tester before I put more, more uh, corn flour in it to thicken it up. So I'm just gonna do another quick. Yeah, it's nice in thick lumps. Sort of. That's the strawberry. Just kind of testing it out with the corn flour, just to see how we go. And that's our purple, pink and purple. No, that works. I think we've got a pink purple palette, really. Mushroom. That's kind of quite nice in chunks. Uh, beetroot, which is just literally a wash and chunks. So that might just be a wash. Like so. And then we have the carrot beetroot because beetroot, yeah. It's chunky. But it's, I guess it's a nice color. And then we've got our green slop. It all looks like baby food. The green's still pretty nice. And then we've got our corn. Very pasty. So, this is our palette. Now, we're going to make something on this other canvas over here. This is our test canvas and put the thing in this. We've got a brush and some different uh, palette thingies. Yeah, I've got some paper towels, some spare paper towel over here too. And yeah, so I'm gonna stick this over here. I honestly have no idea what to do right now. Um, we have a bit of purple and yellow. I suppose I, I could do a food dragon. I mean, a dragon, dragons. That's all I can think of because dragons you can do anything with. Just do like a big ass dragon. 
and whatnot. I suppose I could do that. Okay, but I'm gonna grab a pencil because I'm gonna quickly sketch this out lightly. This smells really funny, by the way. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and draw the whole or a relatively large space of the dragon so I can use as much of this as I can. Very loose, really. Probably use the purple as fire. Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know what I'm going to colour those in as. Maybe they're corn? That's going to be very seedy coloured teeth. Some corn. You probably can't see it actually. But I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to go all the way around. Just so it fills up this canvas space a bit more. It's just gonna kind of be a legless dragon, I think. Kind of add his wings up here. So they come back into his body. I was originally going to draw food with the food, but I wouldn't have a clue what to do. Cow, I mean beetroot and stuff, that, that's, that makes sense. But we'll go into our normal zone for it, I suppose. have something but five colors here oh seven colors at least so the horns can be that brown mushy color brown the mushroom color maybe I'll make some more spines coming up the tail Underbelly of this dragon. Okay. And here. Kind of have some plates, I suppose. Oh, um, I feel like we're not going to be able to do much. Distinguish shape. Flame, I do two sets of colors. I need to draw an eye. Um, the wing pad again.
guess we can start with that for now. So I feel like I want to do it justice and make him a generally green, green dragon. So we're gonna use my brush first, I think. Get some nice green mush. This looks so gross. Just gonna kind of put it on him. It's not too bad. That's actually really not that bad. I, I kind of like it. I mean, the chunks are a bit funny, but it's looking not too bad in that sense. So kind of excited now. I was worried that it wasn't really gonna do much. Painting with spinach. Who knew, right? Oh, it's sloppy. <laughs> There's so many chunks just on the paint, the panel now. You know, I could use the chunks as like a shading, to be honest. Just like kind of try and get a few down the bottom there. This is so smelly. It's not looking too bad to be honest. I hope that's in focus. Do you look and look at how nice that is so far? <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's keep going. So his body kind of comes around here. Like so. Kind of disappears behind his scales for a wee bit, like his underbelly, and then it comes back out. Oh, we got it. I'm missing the tail here. And not hopefully don't get my hand in it. I've got a wing kind of going. 
going in behind there. This could technically be a cheap medium, right? I've been doing my cheap challenge. This could be classed as cheap. Any leftover food that you don't eat during the week, just kind of don't waste it, turn it into an art piece, you know? Or when your mum and dad are complaining about not eating your general vegetables and fruits, stick it on a canvas instead and be like, hey mum, look, I've got my five fruits and vegetables right here. And see what their face would be, that would be pretty fun. It was actually my awesome and amazing brilliant mother who suggested this one. She suggested paint with foods and fruits and vegetables, and it, it's going good. So, oops. yeah, thanks, mom. Thumbs up. What? Thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up. I can't thumbs up. There. All right. So, I think the majority of the green is good for now. Wash my brush. A little paper towel to get the excess gunk off of it. Now I might go the brown for the horns. This is a lovely, lovely brown, lovely mush. I think I'm going to need a palette for this, one of these guys, this one. It's so thick that it doesn't even like to be put down. Mushroom horns, yay! I'm just using basic uh, palette knives that you can just buy, like paint palette knives and things that you can buy in just any store. And the canvas is just a flat canvas from like a cheap store. That is ultra chunky, like it's thick as. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a bit more shape up here because that horn there is a bit shapier. Yeah. Oh, that was a chunk. Mm. Chunk of mushroom. I actually don't mind mushrooms. You know, a lot of people don't actually like them, but. I'll happily eat a mushroom and stick it on a canvas. Um, I think we'll leave the brown at that. We still have to use all of our other colors too. So I was thinking I could go yellow the corn for the wings. Just like a strawberry for the wings. I'm going corn for the wings. It's practically creamed corn, except it's unedible. It's got, I mean, you could probably eat it. It's got corn flour. That's really funny. Oh no! Let me get out of there. Corn flour and um, corn in it. So I suppose it could be classed as edible. I feel like I need to pick this up. <laughs> I 
It's giving a nice texture. can definitely smell the corn. I'm actually surprised I can't smell the beetroot right now because yesterday when we were blending the uh, beetroot, it was just, it was pretty intense. And the, uh, the berries were like, they smelt rotten. I mean, I had had the vegetables in the fridge for a week because I was planning on doing this recording like last week. But then I got lots of work, which is good. So it means I can afford to waste these vegetables on this picture. Yeah, I hope I'm gonna have enough yellow, eh? I did heaps, because I thought I wasn't gonna need that much. But this is pretty, um, pretty chunk of root. I don't have a fancy fancy blender, so the blender also kind of left a few chunks, which is why it's chunky. Chunky, 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 chunky. I'm gonna do the rest of the wings. Oh no! No, get out of there. I'm gonna just put yellow in the horn. Hey look, it's a highlight. Because I accidentally did it, I'm gonna keep going. All right, I'm back. I had to my hard drive, my um SD card filled up because it's only got like two lots of videos in worth in it. So yeah, two lots of 12 minute videos is what's available on the camera. So it's already taken me 24 minutes to draw and start this thing. But let's continue. So it looks like the, most of the greens kind of dried at the moment, which is kind of interesting. It's very water-based, watercolor -y. I guess that's what you get from, from spinach, right? Oh, wrong one. I'm also adding that highlight to this brown too, because that really kind of works. Let me go. Ah! All right. There we go. All fixed. I was gonna move this so I can do this wing. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Getting it blotched everywhere, not in the purple. Yeah. I had no idea what I was going to draw, so if I knew what I was going to draw, I probably would have put the yellow away. But I didn't even know how this was going to turn out. So... Ooh, there was a full chunk of corn in there just now. Trees. Smushed some corn.
pushing those tiny pieces of corn, you can very much smell the corn now. I think it also went much chunkier than planned because I didn't put so much in the blender. Like, I only put, like, this tiny bit enough to get, like, it was a lot more than this in there, but. It was only, like, this much in the bottom of the blender of whatever this gunk is. I still have this here and over there. Oh, I just got beetroot carrot on me. That green has definitely dried very quickly. I feel like I'm gonna try this brush again. Man, I should have done that the whole time. Don't worry, this is not a super fancy brush. It's literally just a second hand brush from someone who didn't want it anymore. So, I mean, It'd be cool if it worked again afterwards, but it's now covered in rotten food. Just kind of adding to the chunks because as it's drying it's also going like see-through at some point so yeah yeah there we go all right i'm gonna see if that that green will like do an overlay and kind of add some shading. Because it's dried a wee bit now, so. We might be able to add a little bit of shading in those wings. Kind of works. All right, I really want to do the beetroot now. So I'm going to do the beetroot as the main part of the flame. So this part's going to be the easy part because it's literally liquid. <sighs> literally watercolor. 
featured stains everything. You know, I haven't actually eaten beetroot in a long time, to be honest. Oh my god, I'm getting it everywhere. That's alright, that works. I think the last time I ate beetroot was when I lived with my mom, which was like years ago now. Alright, so we've got the basic, maybe I'll Flame and chunks. Try and there we go. I picked up the chunk. I need another paper towel. Alright. Um. Well, I wait for that beetroot to dry before I go to the beetroot carrot. So. We haven't used the fruit yet, so I'm gonna, I think, do this purpley gunk of blueberries for the tail. Alright, that did work. I'm gonna get the palette knife out again. We've got that tail spade in there. It's a bit funky shaped. Um, Try that orange on his belly. Practically a lot of beetroot. If there's cuts, it's because my camera blanks out at like 12 minutes, which is really, really annoying. Ew! I just put my hand in the blueberry. That's gross. It looks like a watermelon dragon, to be honest, because the green and the, the this. It's fair. Strawberry pink. That works. But I'm gonna use a. Powder. 
palette. Where's my knife on there? I might actually, so that strawberry is very thick, so I'm going to use it to add a bit of shading to this carrot. I suppose I'll go this purple again because I haven't really used it. The eyeball. It looks the same color as the heart. When you try, I kind of want the one. If I grab this, this and put.
just kind of, I guess, adding pattern with the brown and the dragon. We'll kind of mix some. Oh, I just put my elbow in there. Yeah, that's working. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more weird ass things like this happen or in challenges and bits and pieces don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so more people can see it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!